It's a major development tonight in the investigation into a road rage shooting. All of it caught on camera in downtown Billings. Well, nearly nine months after Michael Duran was shot and killed, we're learning a jury will help decide whether charges should be filed. Our Jackie Coffin has more on this very unusual move in a story you'll only see here on Q2. It was in this spot just behind me across the street at the intersection of 32nd and 4th that Michael Duran was shot several times and killed following a road rage incident on August 20th. As his family and friends continue to push for answers, the Yellowstone County Attorney's Office tells me they will have a major piece of evidence in this case before the anniversary of Duran's death. I just believe and hope and pray that justice will be served. Talking about her friend Michael Duran is bittersweet for Sabra Mack, who has been advocating for action in his case since he died nine months ago. They have to keep their name um, alive and, and honor them because I don't want Michael's death to be in vain. I just don't. Surveillance video picked up by our building's cameras shows a fight between two drivers, with the first punch being thrown by the driver who ultimately shot the 29-year-old. The two men fight for a while, then nine shots are fired through the car window of the first driver, hitting and killing Duran. While surveillance video shows what happened, no arrests have ever been made. But there is a new big development in the case. Twido has now told Duran's family he will be taking a major and unusual step to try and gain more information. A coroner's inquest is an investigative technique that's allowed uh, in the state of Montana. Uh, it is an inquiry conducted by a coroner with assistance from the county attorney's office and looking at the facts and circumstances and events surrounding a person's death. According to Montana state law, a coroner's inquest must be held following an officer-involved shooting or if a suspect dies while in custody. But calling for an inquest outside of that is uncommon. I think we've done at least a half dozen uh, that don't involve an officer-involved shooting or a death down at the detention facility. If you included those, we do inquests quite a bit. Twido says this case warrants one due to the question of self-defense. So the coroner's jury, and I've invited them to do this, they can ask their own questions of the witness. They can ask their own questions of the coroner. What does this mean? They might ask questions of the county attorney. What does justifiable use of force mean? What does excessive force constitute? How do you know? All those questions are things I think that could be really insightful in this case. Unlike a normal jury trial, jurors for the inquest will not be asked to decide if the shooter is guilty, nor does it bind Twido to bringing any charges forward one way or another. It's just another piece of evidence that could guide Twido as he decides whether to press charges. And that insight can prove invaluable when you're investigating uh, a situation like this. Regardless for Mac and Michael Duran's family, it's a positive step forward. I I do feel optimistic. I feel better, but I'm still fighting. In Billings, Jackie Coffin, MTN News.